LaMelo Ball, the rookie of the year, the Charlotte Hornets new star sensation, 19 years old at 6 foot 7 is looked to be the future of the Hornets, leading them into a new era of Hornets basketball. We have come a long way from LaMelo Ball in high school at Chino Hills, popping half court shots and playing with his brothers. Now he is in the league, has had an impressive rookie season, and LaMelo has risen in the league as one of the more creative ball handlers and passers. What pretty much kind of shocked some fans was LaMelo Ball's shooting last season. It was seen as a question mark due to his form, but LaMelo shot a respectable 35% from three on five three-point attempts a game, 39% three-point shooter in catch-and-shoot situations, and 32% as a pull-up three-point shooter according to NBA stats. LaMelo averaged 15.7 points and 6.1 assists in his first season in Charlotte, and he can only get better as a player. As a scorer, I feel like he can get better overall as a finisher at the rim, improve his free throw rate, he only takes around 3.2 a game, and he can also bump up his mid-range efficiency. Per cleaning the glass stats, LaMelo shot 54% at the rim which ranks in the 27th percentile, and he shot 42% in the mid-range which ranks in the 59th percentile. LaMelo has moves in his game that he can definitely use as a foundation and grow more as a player. The biggest one is his floater. He is also able to get his three point shots off. It's now just a matter of how consistent he will be in the future. Also, the rebounding, closest six rebounds average last season as a 6'7 guard, and it goes well because it works with another one of his strengths, which is passing and making plays in the fast break. In this video, we are going to dive more into LaMelo's setup moves, the process of how LaMelo gets his shots going, we are talking dribble moves, crossovers, attacking closeouts, what moves he uses to bend the defense and create advantages for himself. Let's first talk size up moves. LaMelo is a guy where if a defender is playing lax defense on him, LaMelo is going to try to lull you to sleep and take advantage of you that way. On this play, LaMelo gets a mismatch and he will start with a two between the leg dribbles. He gets the defender to relax. Notice with how the defender is guarding LaMelo. He is exposing his right foot high. This is what LaMelo looks to attack. Right to left crossover opens up his defender and he is able to get to the rim and score inside. He is trying to find that opening to attack and LaMelo being a respectable shooter, defenders can't really sag off of him. The size up here is a test for his defender. LaMelo goes into four between the leg dribbles into a behind the back, then a hang dribble going left. The defender is coming up but the high foot here is the defender's left leg. That's the opening LaMelo attacks. Left to right cross for LaMelo opens up his defender and he's able to get inside and score. LaMelo's signature is going into multiple between the leg dribble moves. The in and out dribble stuns Jay Crowder and that's when LaMelo attacks and drives inside for the layup. The play here is a stack pick and roll. LaMelo starts off with his between the leg dribble and once Biombo steps up to screen, LaMelo explodes into a push cross, Enos Cantor gets back screened and LaMelo is able to get inside for a bucket. Another staple in LaMelo's dribbling collection is the use of hesitation moves. LaMelo on this play skips into a hang dribble on his defender and he is able to get into the lane as he has an angle to the rim after Monk relocates to the left wing. I talked about this in a previous video about LaMelo is that he jumps way too early when attacking the rim and this will sometimes mess up how he scores at the rim. Coming up the lane here, LaMelo likes to shoot threes pulling up. LaMelo is able to fake Oubre with a hezzy which Oubre bites on and LaMelo explodes into a between the legs cross but he misses the shot. Here LaMelo creates a switch, sizes up his defender of two between the leg dribbles into a hang dribble and LaMelo is able to shift his body moving left and he attacks his defender and scores inside. LaMelo gets his switch on Belalitsa between the legs into a behind the back then he transitions into a hezzy move and explodes with a negative step to get inside and score. The Toronto Raptors are in a zone here, LaMelo gets the ball, 
utilizing that hang dribble and exploding with a negative step to get by the defense and get this floater to go. Now let's discuss the negative step. It's a move used by a lot of players in the league. LaMelo likes to go to this a lot to get that extra burst to get by defenders. It's a move notably done to attack closeouts or after pump fakes. LaMelo will sometimes get into a dribble move and then use this to get that extra burst to blow by players. Here LaMelo gets the ball coming up the floor, quick pump fake, he kicks his right foot back and pushes off the balls of his feet to get that explosive burst. LaMelo is able to drive by Herder, go into a half spin and get a mid range shot to go. LaMelo utilizes the negative step on the catch here. Quick pump fake, LaMelo gets low and is able to get by the defense off his left foot. It doesn't always have to be utilized off of a pump fake or a closeout. It can be utilized off of a Hesley move or a size up move. LaMelo does it here and he blows by Miles Turner to finish inside. And here are just a few more examples of LaMelo Ball utilizing that negative step to get by defenders. LaMelo's signature crossover is a basic left to right cross or a right to left cross. After talking about LaMelo's hezzy moves and size up moves, he uses those as setup moves to get into his left to right, right to left crosses. He does this in the half court and even coming down in transition. On this play, LaMelo goes one on one against Luca. Between the leg dribbles are size up moves. The hang dribble opens up Luca's body and exposes his left foot high. This is when LaMelo will explode into a left to right cross which gets him in the lane. He does end up missing at the rim but he was able to get by the defense. LaMelo's size up between the legs with the screen coming up. His defender anticipates and jumps in front of the screen. This does give LaMelo an angle to attack and he will. LaMelo will utilize the left to right cross to get by the defense, sees the help defense and he creates a mid range shot. And this cross can be utilized attacking a closeout. Here LaMelo gets the ball on the wing, fakes the shot, dribbles going left and then brings his defender back with the left to right cross. LaMelo has setup moves for days. Off the screen, LaMelo pulls back between the legs into a hesitation. As mentioned before, defenders has to respect LaMelo's shot. Clarkson bites on the hezzy move and LaMelo goes into a left to right cross to get by him and finish inside. On this play, LaMelo gets the switch on DeAndre Aiden. Size up moves between the legs into a left to right cross. And notice LaMelo is always going to attack that high foot. Once you attack that, the defender has to open up their body. And the right to left cross will be utilized in any situation given. Here LaMelo hang dribble into a right to left, attacks the high foot, is able to get in the lane, spin, and he hits a floater. And here are some clips of LaMelo utilizing the right to left cross to get by the defense. When the left to right, right to left cross is deadly for LaMelo is in transition, running on the break. He gets ahead of steam going and he has shown the ability to change speeds when needed. LaMelo in transition utilizes that hang dribble, the defender is backing up so he goes into a left to right cross, does use that hardened dig move also but he misses inside. And check on this play, LaMelo sprinting up the lane, he freezes Drogic with a hang dribble then gets by him going left to right. This is a good play here, slows down behind the back and goes into a left to right cross as Bullock exposes that right foot high, LaMelo gets in the lane and gets a shot off. Here the move is much more cleaner and crisp, coming up the floor, Hezzy into a left to right push cross, gets by the defense and he gets this layup to go. The change of pace is key here. He is moving up quickly, kind of just stops, gets his defender questioning of what he's going to do, and then just goes into his crossover. 
and here using that left to right push cross against Joe Ingles he gets ahead of steam going in transition and with the defender backing up he explodes into the cross right when Ingles swipes at the ball. He loves to utilize a push cross which is lethal in transition makes his crossovers quicker and deadlier. The push cross is much more easier to execute and handle the ball than just a regular crossover and it's a good change of direction move to get defenders off guard. That will wrap it up for this video. If you did like the video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and I do more content like this. Also, give a watch to my previous video on the Dallas Mavericks offense. I go in-depth on that and how their offense is ran and what makes it work. As always, everyone, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.